case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1996, the South Dakota Supreme Court heard the case of Jones v. Jones, focusing on the trial court's power to make decisions about custody and alimony. The case involved the marriage of Dawn R. Jones, a Caucasian woman, and Kevin Mark Jones, an enrolled member of the Sisseton Wahpeton Dakota Nation. The couple had three children together and lived on Penrose Farms, owned by Kevin's parents. During their marriage, Kevin struggled with alcoholism and exhibited violent behavior towards Dawn, while Dawn suffered from depression and low self-esteem. Their marriage ultimately broke down due to financial problems, communication issues, and Kevin's alcoholism. The couple was granted a divorce based on mental cruelty, with joint legal custody of the children awarded to both parties and primary physical custody awarded to Kevin. A licensed psychologist conducted a home study and found Kevin to be fit for custody. Dawn appealed the decision, claiming that race played a factor in the court's decision and that Kevin was not fit for custody. She also appealed the amount of rehabilitative alimony awarded, $10,680 for two years of tuition, with a monthly payment of $445 when she returns to school, arguing that the court abused its discretion. However, the South Dakota Supreme Court affirmed the trial court's decision, granting primary custody to Kevin without considering race and awarding rehabilitative alimony based on tuition costs. These decisions were within the trial court's discretion and upheld by the appellate court. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.